Have you been driving the stock E30 drift car on the drift track in Assetto Corsa and not exploring the mods that Assetto has to offer? The thousands of cars and tracks that you can download and it's so simple. If that's you, this is the perfect video for you. I'm gonna be showing you all the graphic adjustments you need to make your game look great, all the standard downloads you need and where to get all the cars and all the tracks you need to level up your sim drifting. So the first thing you'd want to do when setting up Assetto Corsa is of course purchase Assetto Corsa. Now as you can see here there are three options to purchase. Um, the first being Assetto Corsa, then the Porsche Season Pass, and then the Ultimate Edition. All of which are on sale for over 80% off which is a fantastic deal. I would 100% recommend getting the Ultimate Edition which includes all of the DLCs. The reason why you want to buy the Ultimate Edition rather than normal Assetto Corsa is because most of the mods that you will be downloading share parts from the DLC cars. So if you download a mod that you want to use and you do not have the DLC, you cannot use that mod, which makes you very sad. So you could spend the extra $3, less than $3 to get yourself the Ultimate Edition which will get you covered for all your mods. So the next thing we're gonna do is download a compression tool such as WinRAR or 7-Zip. This is just to be sure none of our files get corrupted when downloading mods. You can download WinRAR at win-rar.com and download using this download link. And for preface, you do not have to buy WinRAR. It is completely free. And if you want to download 7-Zip, go to 7-zip.org. This is the one I recommend. It's a lot more up to date and a lot less old fashioned like WinRAR, then just go to this link and click any of these download files, probably the 64 bit because you're most likely using Windows 10 or Windows 11. The next thing we want to do is download Content Manager. Now this is an extension from the original Assetto Corsa game, makes things a lot more organized, a lot more up to date than the game itself. It runs directly off of the game. And I would download it off the Assetto Corsa club link as this top link, even though it is the top link, it is a little bit slower and a little bit more out of date. So once you click on the link, you're pulled up to this page and you wanna scroll all the way down and click the download link which it should send it to a compression file for me, WinRAR, use 7-zip. And then from here, you wanna take the .exe file, you wanna right click, and then you wanna say, extract to a specific folder. Now, what you wanna do here, scroll down to where Assetto Corsa is downloaded. So your D drive, and then Steam, and then Steam apps, common, and then click on Assetto Corsa. This will download the Content Manager app directly to Assetto Corsa where it is supposed to be. So once you've downloaded Content Manager, it will prompt you to a setup screen and you could just click OK to get started. But the first thing I would do is go to Settings and Content Manager, go to Online, change your online name to something that isn't player, like your real name or something like a gamer tag. So some very necessary settings you'll need to fix within Content Manager before we get driving is turn your reflections frequency to one face per frame. Then you'll want to go to drive, turn all of your extended weather options off because that does not matter. And then override default PP filter in VR, even if you are not in VR. And then finally, within custom shaders patch, you want to turn your graphic adjustments far plane to 200,000, 30,000, and then FOV range to 0.5 and 12. So after we've gone through with the very basic setup of content manager, we want to install custom shaders patch. Now what this will do is make the next step easy because that's the step you need. And you'll just click that install button and you will install either 1.73 or 1.79. Currently, as of today's date, June 29th, 1.79 is the recommended version. Therefore, I would recommend downloading 1.79. The next thing I would do is go to Race Department, which is a very common mods website, and download the Soul Mod, and this will make your game look a lot better. So, one. 
Rar and or 7-Zip and we are like, oh my goodness, what do I do? There's so many folders. Simply what you're going to do is go into your compressed folder of Soul 2.29 and then what you're going to do is you're going to take the first four system extension content apps and then go to your D drive, Steam, Steam apps, Common, Assetto Corsa, and you're gonna drag these over into your Assetto Corsa folder in which Soul will be installed into Content Manager. So after installing custom shaders patch and downloading Soul, what you wanna do is go down to weather effects and in your weather script, you want to click Soul, and as you can see, it is up to date with the most recent version. This is the one you want to use. So now that you've got Content Manager and Soul and a set of courses downloaded, you are ready to start downloading tracks and cars. So you might be asking yourself, well, there's so many cars, what should I download when it comes to drifting? If you want to hop straight into the pro cars, what I would do is join the Virtual Drift Championships Discord server download all of their tracks and their 3.0 cars and get sliding in some pro cars or more importantly you go to cf64.myshopify.com or forsbergracing.com and you get yourself some chris forsberg slash forsberg racing cars such as his 2023 formula drift car the ultimaniac alex jagers 370 the legendary vk56 350z and the kat 240sx now, after downloading those cars, which are all very necessary, you're still wanting more. So here are some packs that I would recommend and a website I would recommend to go get some of your cars from. The two car packs I would recommend downloading besides the Forsberg Racing cars and the VDC 3.0 cars is the World Drift Tour Street Pack or the WDTS Pack and the Death Wish Garage 3.0 Pack or the DWG 3.0 Pack. The reason being is my philosophy of drifting, especially sim drifting, is you want to learn things slowly before you start speeding things up. So hopping in a solo lobby or a tandem lobby with slower cars that are great to drive such as WDTS and DWG, it will master your skills of tandem and solo driving, mastering your lead and your chase before going to the pro cars and knocking out any bad habits you may develop hopping straight into the pro cars. And in my opinion, those are the only two streetcar packs you need. I would not recommend driving or downloading any others. However, a great website you can go to to download some other pro cars that you might want to drive or other streetcars is Boston.co. On Boston.co, you can get the assortments of cars you've dreamed of, such as Subaru Utes, R32 Utes, and or any fun tracks or competitive tracks you might want to drive. If you want to get tandems with any of your homies in streetcars, I would recommend some fun tracks. And if you're looking to level up your competition driving, maybe drive some competition tracks. And maybe you can't find the car you're looking for because maybe it's an individual car. So instead of downloading packs, you just download individual cars. So once you have downloaded your wanted track or car, you want to go into content manager and click content and for cars you want to go to cars click any car in content manager clicking this all tool right here and then click the folder button and it will take you to the cars folder but then you want to back out of it and you want to be in cars within common a set of course a content cars and then you'll take your car of choice and of course drag it into the folder and from there it will download and it will be at your disposal. And as I said before, same with tracks, just go to tracks, click the folder back out of that tracks folder and make sure you're in common, a set of course of content tracks, take the track of your choice that you have downloaded, drag it over into the folder, wait for it to download. And then once again, it will be at your disposal. And now you can slide with the homies at any custom track with any custom car that you can imagine. If this video helped you take your sim drifting experience to the next level, or even just gave you some tips or clarification, leave this video a like and leave a comment if you have any questions at all that you might have. Drop us a follow if you wanna see more helpful sim racing content. Thank you so much for watching this video. Catch you in the next one.